Hey everybody, welcome back. I have two things for you today. Number one is an update to the NVIDIA DLSS file. It is now version 3.7.20. We'll go over that and how to update it. The other thing I wanted to bring up was updating the frame gen mod if you have the DLSS tweaks version of the frame gen mod. Putting these two things together because they both came out roughly the same time and I just I have to get to the airport today, so I need to get this uh, need to get this squared quickly. So first of all, DLSS. What is DLSS? DLSS is Deep Learning Super Sampling. It's the NVIDIA proprietary technology that gives you the best image quality you can get. It uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to downscale the image on your screen and then stretch that image to fill your screen, and it gives you the best visual quality you can get and the best performance you can get. And you want to update this file if you are using an RTX graphics card. So we update DLSS using DLSS Swapper. If you don't have the program, you come here to GitHub, and I'll put a link in the description. Click here on Releases, and then you want to click on the DLSS Swapper installer file. Now this will download the file for you. You save it to where you want to save it on your PC. I already have it, and it's just an installer. You double click it and run it. Install the program. And when you install the program, this is what it looks like. Quickly down here on the lower left, you have your settings. And you want to make sure that all of the game libraries are enabled. This will make sure that DLSS Swapper can find all of the games you have on your PC. Now you can use DLSS Swapper to update the DLSS file for any game that you're using. Once you've enabled all the libraries, you come here to the Games button. It's going to show you a list of all your games. Now, of course, I only have Microsoft Flight Simulator. And here it's going to show you which version of DLSS you have. It's 3.7.20 in my case because I've updated it. To update it, come here to the library and you're going to see version 3.7.20. And you click here on the down arrow to download the file. It will download the file for you. Then you come back here to the games library, click on the game, select 3.7.20 and press swap and you're done. So here in the sim, if we come to options, general options, you can see anti-aliasing NVIDIA DLSS super resolution. DLAA is a one-to-one -one scaling. There's no downscaling done. It's simply the best image quality that NVIDIA can give you. And what this is akin to is TAA. And so this is the best visual quality that you can get. Now, quality is a one-third downscale, so you get 67% of the pixels, and then NVIDIA uses AI to stretch that 67% image to fit your full screen. So because it's generating fewer pixels, it's less taxing on your GPU, and you'll get better performance. And with the upscaling, it scales it up so you get the full screen image of what you would normally get, Balanced is a 58% rendition of your screen, so it's downscaled by 42%. Performance is 50% downscaled. It's actually generating half of the pixels and then using AI to stretch that to fit your entire screen. And then ultra performance is 33%. So it's downscaling your image by two thirds and then stretching that image to fit the full screen. There are disadvantages to DLSS, it can make the numbers on electronic flight instruments look fuzzy, but again, it gives you a, a big performance increase. And if you're using the frame gen mod, that's going to give you even more performance. So what you can do is use, for example, DLSS quality, which is a one-third downscale, get the performance benefit of that, and then use the frame gen mod to get even better performance on top of that. I personally, with my RTX 3080 Ti, I run DLSS DLAA with the frame gen mod, so I have no downscaling at all. I get tremendous visuals. I mean, you see them in my videos. I get great performance as well. I'll just run through my settings real quick so you guys can see them. I'm sure you're going to want to see it. These are all of my settings. 
can pause it and take a look if you want. The rest of my settings. Next up, for those of you who are using the DLSS Tweaks version of the Frame Gen mod, I'm going to show you how to update it. Now, what is DLSS Tweaks? DLSS Tweaks allows you to change a variety of things, but the one that we're looking for is changing the DLSS preset, which is a prepackaged bundle of settings that NVIDIA puts together for DLSS. And you can change the different presets to prioritize different things, basically. And if you have DLSS tweaks set up, all you need to do is come here to this version of the frame gen mod. I'll put the link in the description as well. You click on manual download, click on slow download, download the file, Find the location on your computer where you've saved it. Extract the file, and what you're going to get is this. Again, this is for people who already have this set up. This is not how to set it up. This is if you already have it set up. If you already have the DLSS Tweaks version of the Frame Gen Mod set up, all you need to do is take these two files, the two DLL files, and drag them into your Microsoft Flight Simulator content folder. For Steam users, I'll put the location that you need in the description as well. But for Microsoft Flight Simulator Store users, you go to C, Xbox Games, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Content. And then you take your two DLL files, either copy and paste, drag and drop, however you want to do it. And it's going to ask you if you want to replace the files, and you say yes. And that's it. You're done. You already have DLSS tweak set up. Now you've got the latest version of the frame gen mod, you're all set. For people who are interested in setting up the DLSS Tweaks version of the frame gen mod, I'll put a link in the description to a video I did about how to do that. There's basically two ways to change the presets for DLSS. Number one is with the DLSS Tweaks. Number two is with NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I find NVIDIA Profile Inspector, for lack of a better term, confusing. You can also mess up your computer if you don't do it properly. DLSS Tweaks is much more user-friendly, easier to use, so I'll put a link in the description to that video as well if you want to set it up. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and we'll talk soon.